Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. In our last episode, we got our steam up and running, and I also just realized I can move these lumen quartzes next to our bonbon trees to get more plastic production, or more nectar, I should say. But yeah, so we, we've got our steam up and running. I am gonna need to make some changes to this, but it's at least uh, working right now. We've got the battery working in tandem. I do have... I have it configured so that we are, I guess I should put that at 90. We're using steam before natural gas. Um, I'm still not sure if that's the right solution or not. Oh, they're finally outputting polluted water instead of ice. Or at least this one is. This one is still doing ice, but this one's warm enough over here to, uh, to do polluted water. That's funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to end up with extra natural gas at some point. And I I could have a lot of logic. I could say if my natural gas is full, then use the natural gas. Yeah, because this one, I'm still not sure how we're going to really capture all the magma properly. We're going to need an auto digger, basically. The magma will turn into obsidian and then we'll, or igneous rock, and then we'll have to dig that square. So I guess I should start researching towards that, the robo miner. Um, sweepy bot. Huh. Maybe I should have made a sweepy bot a long time ago. That sounds handy. Um, and then where are, a desalinator will be important to use the salt geysers properly. I'm gonna need... something... where's the solid material? Uh, this stuff. We're gonna need that. Maybe? Meter? No. Bear shut off? Definitely we'll need that. But yeah, I don't know easiest way to clean up the obsidian. There's a conveyor rail thermo sensor. Rail element sensor. That requires the orange technology though, so that's gonna be a while. Before I can do that. I'm still working on the rocket platform here. So new rocket. How does this all work? I have no idea how this all works. Space above rocket blocked. Is it? Wait, do I have to deconstruct the ladders? I may have to deconstruct the ladders. Yeah, I'm guessing the ladders are in the way. I would have thought I could put ladders behind the rocket, you know? You know what I'm saying? Ethanol? Nah. 100 kilograms of ethanol is not even that much. Not really worth it. Okay, there we go. Now we're all cleared out, and it does seem like that worked. So what do I do? Um, I, I want a liquid cargo tank. I need a solid oxid fertilizer and oxalite for burning rocket fuels. A steam engine. Trailblazer module. Command module. Sugar engine. Short range space exploration. So let's go with the sugar engine. That feels like an easy start. Orbital cargo module delivers cargo to the surface of planetoids that do not yet have a rocket platform. Well, there's a rover bot for remote planetoid exploration.
Interesting. Let's let's just do a liquid cargo tank. And then I assume I need a command module. Let's just see what happens after I build this stuff. Whoa. Fancy. Okay. Good cargo tank. How do I... What do I do now? Okay, we got sucrose delivered. Awesome. Now I need to add a new module. Spacefarer's nose cone? Unreachable build. Okay. I guess we can go a little closer. It's just the middle five tiles that need to be clear. Okay, now I don't know why I've put it off this long, but I very much need a fire pole uh, down this way. So that should uh, help a little bit. I should have built the whole base with fire poles in mind, but I didn't. So here we are. It's nice that there's plenty of oxygen up here. I think just opening up one of these oxalite uh, there he is, once in a while. Leaves us with plenty. Nice. And this construction done. This is when it's nice to have a bunch of dupes. You know, if I had 20 dupes, these construction projects would be done even faster. Not that this is slow, but... Yeah, they're really getting it done now. But yeah, you can see how much faster they go down. It's a huge difference. You know. Okay, is this ever going to get built? I'm going to priority six that so it gets done. New buildings are connected to this power source. I'm confused about what... That means. Because it's not a generator, it's an engine. Not really sure. Power plus 60 watts. Huh. View interior. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with space. We'll figure it out. Um, okay, so yeah, the Robo Miner... You can configure... It doesn't just automatically mine everything in that tile, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna build one and kind of figure it. I thought we could configure it so that it only mines tiles we select, rather than everything it can see. But I will confirm this. Oh, it's built, it's built. View interior. Oh. This is inside the rocket. Used to vent liquids to space during flight. Gas. Input port. Okay. Interesting. Change. Select new destination. The rocket's maximum range of zero. That's not good. Why do you have a maximum range of zero? Uh, no oxidizer tank. Interesting. Okay, I would have assumed... 
The sugar engine didn't need that, but I guess that's not true. So I need to switch this for an oxidizer tank. And then I need to switch this to be the liquid cargo tank. And then above it, I need to build Spacefarer. Maybe that'll do it. All right, and the Robo Miner does seem to be getting right to work. Uh, and there's no configure button. Wow, interesting. You construct that thing, y'all. Very interesting. Oh, I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. Robo Miners only mine natural tiles. So if it's all um, man-made stuff around the Robo Miner, it will only mine the obsidian that shows up. That's right. I remember that now. So that works fine. And then yeah, this should all just be priority six. Whatever, whatever we're doing with the rocket, it's slightly higher priority. Yeah, get that bonbon nectar. Now we're getting 10.2 with those little lumen quartzes. 10.2 plus 11.2 is 21.4 uh, grams per second, which is 212 kilograms a day. That's not bad at all, given there's no inputs other than power. All right, there we go. So now... Let's do oxalite. Does it need 450 kilograms? I don't know how many kilograms it needs. Um, module burden, engine power, sugar engine. It's not totally clear to me, but we've got oxalite. How much does it have? Oh, it's got the full 450. Okay. So now I can set my destination. Cool. Space can be analyzed with a telescope or cartographic module. Let's find the telescope. Um, build that. It needs power, though. That's a bit bothersome. Here, let's build it up here. Uh, let's do that. be able to mine that out um, and then I'll do a, a whatchamacallit uh, let's wire down to here where we have some small amount of air and then I'll do a battery Get that done. My calories are going up decently, so I'm gonna disable harvest on two of those, or four of those plants. It's like we're still 300 degrees over here. I've got plenty of power, which feels really good. Oh yeah, this is hot in here now. Our aqua tuners turned it all to steam. And my base is still properly cooled off, which feels really good. And the coldness of this area is spreading. It's like keeping the whole base cool, right? Because heat continually gets leached into this area. So it's a good system. Um, 
technically this stuff is going to get melty at some point. But I'm not worrying about that yet. Oh no, this is still a thing. Manual labor, manual power generation, Glim, I can't be doing this. I'm guessing it's just because this pipe isn't long enough. So there are times when it doesn't run for a little bit, because that really shouldn't be, shouldn't be happening this way. It's fine, that probably only happens once in a while. Cause yeah, then that comes in. Wait, what? Oh, the low threshold is 10. It should be like 20. Or 50. Yeah. But yeah, the problem is it's like, we have extra hydrogen, it goes out into the world, when really that's hydrogen we needed on average to run the electrolyzer. So water just showed up here again. How? How? Is it this ice? Like what's happening? There's no... There shouldn't be any water here. I'm gonna sweep that. Like, is that ice turning to... The water... I don't even know what's happening. This ice is all negative 10 degrees. So... I don't... How is there still water here? What's going on? I am ultra confused. Sweep that. I don't know how water's getting up here. It's not making sense to me. Something weird is going on. I don't understand it. But we got our telescope, and it looks like he's telescoping. Allow meteor shower identification. Okay, so star map. What are, what are we doing here? You discovering things? It seems like that is theoretically happening. Uh, let me dig all that up. We don't have reduced visibility. I do like that rockets are easier in the Spaced Out DLC. Um, they were an ultra pain in the butt in the old original Oxygen Not Included. Some people really liked that, but I think it was frustrating because there were always meteor showers, and so you couldn't just do this. You had to have the gantry even to build one, and there weren't easy ways to, like, make sure you were always safe from meteor shower. I don't know. It was just, it was very complicated, um, to set up. It was not beginner friendly. And then again, this game isn't beginner friendly, to be perfectly honest. Oh, I set this up too. I don't remember if I showed you guys this, but we did get the airlock situation going. You just need three mechanized doors and the middle one is open. You close it and then you open it and now it's a vacuum in there. So that way this can be 300 degrees and this is negative 1.8. And there's no temperature transfer between the two. So, that's nice. Oh, that insulated tile is 50 degrees. Why is that one so much warmer? I don't know why. Huh. But yeah, I mean, I'm gonna run... I'm not gonna make any modifications to this until we run out of temperature. Eventually the obsidian in this area will cool off enough so that this will be cool enough, but for now, we're just gonna siphon all this heat. I mean, there's a lot of connected heat that even though it doesn't flow quickly, there's a lot of tiles and the temperature differential is large. So there should be enough heat flow in this direction for quite a while. 
to run that steam turbine. Which, honestly, I'm pretty happy about. Okay, did we identify anything yet? No? I really need oxygen masks. It's so funny that he's literally just sitting in space, looking through the telescope. They have an oxygen mask station. Um, you know, I could... I could make an oxygen mask checkpoint. Though, I haven't really left enough space for one. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's try out an oxygen mask. Now I do need to craft those. Uh, that's in the crafting station. Oxygen mask, iron ore. Let's make five units. They're just 50 iron ore. They're easy. It's an early game solution because you can't make, you know, Atmo suits that early. And so this is a solution so that your dupes can go into non-breathing environments. Wait, do I need to deconstruct the airlock? Maybe, I don't know exactly what's going on here. You know, I just realized I should move these Lumen Quartzes to the one that I'm paying for because it's quite a bit faster. And I will I will net more grams of uh, nectar per cycle if I move them here. Because this one is getting 60, which is more than the other two combined. So yeah, there's 73 with just one Lumen Quartz, and then the other one will add even more. So that's the way to do it. It's just free, free Lux. Heck yeah. Is there another one somewhere that I can, that I can grab? Let's gra grab that one. There's another one there I could get. So yeah, that'll get us a lot more free nectar. I would say that way I don't need to spend power, but honestly, like, now I have two free power sources. I don't really feel the need to um, save, you know, 50 watts here. Heck, maybe I could go build a refrigerator. You spin that wattage constantly. Okay, yeah, what is going on here? Weird. No checkpoint. Yeah, I do need to deconstruct that. That's what I thought. It's weird that it let me build the checkpoint part. I need to deliver... Let me build that one. Now, an oxygen mask. Do I need a gas intake, I presume? Canister emptier is like a bottle emptier. I need like a canister to ventilation thing, which again does not exist for whatever reason. Um, hmm. So, so here's what we need. We need a gas pump. Uh, 
pipe over here. And then I need an oxygen, an oxalite sconce inside a room. It's got an airlock. Like this. And then I can power it, manually turn it on and off with a wire. Okay. So that's my plan for oxygen. Okay, I just saw more water dripping over here. I think it has to do with these tiles somehow. I don't understand why, because they're cold enough that it shouldn't matter. But something's going, something weird is going on over here. Like that is getting partially melty or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I'm just going to replace them with normal tiles. Because we keep having them up because of that stupid issue. Is that just all the ice tiles that are kind of over our base? Just fix that. Snow is so annoying. I wish dupes were smart enough that when, and I know sometimes you wouldn't want it to, so it probably shouldn't be automatic, but most of the time when you drop snow, you want to mine out the snow you just dropped. I wish there was a way like that. It's like, okay, now I want to mine those two snow tiles, obviously. It would be weird if I didn't. But they don't do it automatically. So we mine all that, now I mop again, and I sweep, and there better not be anything left here. I want you guys to sweep this up. And sweep that up. And sweep that. And I think I have a place to put water on that, so we can empty water there. We need to. We've got polluted water over here somehow. Don't know where all these fluids keep coming from. I think we're all clean now. All right. Cool, okay, oxygen. I'm guessing, yeah, we got the hydrogen out of there, so that should be good now. Looks like there's quite a bit of hydrogen up here. Sweet. How much oxalate do I have? By the way, I have 10 tons of oxalate. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of oxalate. Those alveoveras have been doing, doing work. <laughs> Sweet. So yeah, what's going on with the star map now? Oh, it's just gradually revealing tiles, I think. So now I could go to there, I see. Interesting. So what I'm wondering is, are there places we can go in space that aren't planetoids? Or do I, am I gonna need a rover mod? I was just kind of hoping there are some like, 
some places in space that I can go, if that makes sense. Um, where, you know, I can, I don't know, just, I'm imagining resources floating in space. That's probably not going to work. Unpacks interplanetary payloads delivered by duplicants. Huh. Well, we'll let a little bit more exploration happen. A little gas mask helping. Sweet. That seems to work. And yeah, I mean, life is good for our dupes. We've captured power. Effectively. With plenty, plenty more. You know, this stuff is 1555 degrees. So, we've got lots of heat energy. Yeah, basically, this temperature is not going to change for a very long time. Eventually, it'll work its way down, but not going to have to deal with that for a while. And then we've got maxed out natural gas here, which is awesome. So I have a lot of power is what that means. I don't have to be as scared about spending some electricity anymore. And this whole space thing is just so I can get petroleum for the metal refinery, which is really funny to me because that feels like such a small thing. I just need like 500 kilograms of petroleum. I mean, technically 400, but I'll take a little extra. Copper meteor shower. Time to collision two cycles. Ooh, copper meteors. Interesting. Icy nectar meteor shower. Time to collision 1.8 cycles. A hailstorm of sweet icy space rocks. Oh boy. Interesting. Is that going to damage things? Probably. Ice meteor, snow meteor, bonbon meteor. That's crazy. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Um, I mean, I don't even have the gantry, so I can't... There's no way I can, like, cover this up, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. Also, I just realized, like, I can harvest these guys. Could be kind of nice. Because these get light from space, which is a lot of lux, apparently. Why is that one halted? wonder. Oh, maybe that's one that came in on an asteroid recently. Interesting. Okay, so we are just about due for an icy nectar meteor shower. And there's this thing. So I don't know what that's about. I find some noteworthy data hidden among the system files of this space junk. Weird. But that can't be like a destination, right? Or it can be? No, that just says destination empty space. Yeah, I I don't I don't understand half of what rockets do. That's for sure. Office space in space. All right, the collision is going to be any moment now, right? 0.2 cycles. 100 seconds. Yep. 
Incoming meteor shower. Please don't break everything. So yeah, I do need a new module, I think. Long journey to get that nectar. Oh, here it comes. Yep, here's stuff. Snow crashing, buried that bonbon tree. Buried my rocket platform. Three hundred seconds remaining of bombardment. Interesting. Well, that explains why there's a lot of snow on top here. Good news is, snow is what bonbon -bon trees need. Oh, that's so interesting. So it synergizes. The, that's why the bonbon trees talk about the branch can shed most environmental debris. So it's like the trees kind of unbury themselves. That's fun. It's really interesting. snow. Alright. Okay, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. So we can dig it all out. I do think I need another... I need another module. I need a trailblazer module. I don't know. And then that means I need to switch this out for the liquid cargo tank. And then I need to add one above it. I'm gonna work my way over to this fossil over here because we need that, uh, that lime for steel. So that's one project. And then we will continue trying to figure out how the heck to get petroleum from this other planet. Because we're also... Yeah, I don't know how it works. Can I go down in the Trailblazer module and then come back up with stuff? Um, I just... I don't know how any of this works. So... We'll figure it out together. Star map wise, I have uncovered a frozen Mercury asteroid field. Harvesting resources requires a rocket equipped with a drill cone. Oh, see, this is what I'm hoping for. I want something like this that uh, that has petroleum. That's kind of what I was thinking, you know. What is a drill cone? High velocity destruction. Oh my. That is a lot of rad bolts that I would need to research that. Wow. Okay. Launches interplanetary payloads between planetoids. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Wow. That's really neat. I am going to need the glass forge at some point. Increases the temperature and output of an analyzed geyser. Wow. That's actually kind of handy too. I'm going to I'm going to re-enable my radbolt generation here.
20 will make 10 research points, so I need 40 craftings. I think. Trailblazer module, unreachable storage. What are you doing, Jonathan? You literally just did nothing. You accomplished nothing! New planetoid detected? Ooh. That one has oxalate meteor showers. World traits, metallic caves. Tundra, swampy, metallic, marsh, radioactive. A gold volcano? A cobalt volcano? Oh my. What is it? Oh, that, was, that was weird. It was like I was constantly holding uh, scroll to the left. That was super odd. Alright. Um... Will that fix the unreachable storage? Yes, it will. Okay. So do I need two duplicates then? Because this says can hold one duplicate traveler. Deployment is available while in the star map hex adjacent to a planetoid. Change crew. Alright, Luan, you're the pilot. Additional... Wait, what? Additional landers must be constructed to fulfill the lander requests of this rocket. I'm so confused. So do I need... Do I need a rover module, too? I think so. Hmm. Awaiting delivery iron. Let's prioritize six on all this. I don't know whatever deliveries we need, but... I don't totally understand what's going on there. Do I not have 400 iron? Are you delivering it, Lodro? Looks like you've got iron with you. Okay. Oh! Oh, it just has to build it. Interesting. There we go. So now it's happy. Now it's happy. All right, pilot boarded, all crew boarded. So it's really that glitchy, like, oh, why is it doing that? I don't know why it does that. Bloop, 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 it's very annoying. Um, right? So do I hit that so the crew will come board? Here we go. We're going to space. Duplicants cannot reach this rocket module. Duplicants cannot reach this storage. Well, they're in. Begin launch sequence. <gasps> oh my goodness. We're launching a rocket. I have no idea what's happening. Off they go! Oh my god. And it melted all the mercury over here. That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> okay. In flight, 1.6 cycles. Cool. Now, I assume I don't have 
some limited. I want to hit view interior. Uh oh. Wait, is Luan just gonna die in here? What the heck? Don't tell me that I was supposed to build a bathroom in here. Like, it doesn't come equipped. Are you serious? And there's no oxygen in here either, by default? Hmm. Luan, you may not come back from this. Um, <laughs> I, look, I assumed it was a little more beginner friendly and it would just have oxygen in it. Um, clearly incorrect. So go back home. Go back home. Holding. Oh, Luan just got back. Oh, gosh. Jeez. Um... The Mercury's just going crazy. Alright, so rockets are still a little complex. Oh, uh, it's because I didn't have a ladder. I bet they automatically do deliver. Um, well, maybe not. An interior. So, what are you supposed to do? And do you, do you really need an outhouse in your command module? That just feels weird to me. I'm quite confused on kind of how that's supposed to work. Huh. Alright, we don't need you in there anymore for now. Rocketry. Um. Yeah, there's not just like a basics guide, is there? Okay, well, um. Like, I feel like it should say, no bathroom in command module. It should be one of the rocket construction things, you know what I mean? Uh, but I guess they're not gonna hold your hand with that. Because it does seem like I need a bathroom in here. It just feels really weird to me. So we'll put an outhouse in there. And then... I guess I do an oxalite sconce. Just put two of them. And then those, so I could put gas. I could basically make a CO2 I could put a pump in here with a filter, but how would I get power to it? There's no power. Can I get power from the engines? Hmm. This does talk about no power consumers. Engine will generate 60 watts of power once traveling through space. So if I build something in here that uses power, will it just automatically... I have no idea what, what it would do. I'm doubting it would automatically hook up, but that would be nice if it did.
Let's just make a, a light just to kind of find out. Surely it's going to just be like, no power connection. But we'll try it out. Oh, and I'm going to need food in here too. No power wire connected. Okay. I don't think that does anything then. Okay, so that should keep some oxygen in here. I still have no idea what I'm doing, but having fun doing it. Ooh, I'll take a pipsqueak, actually. Uh, those are used for natural planting. And so just having a pip around for a while will be nice. Uh, I forget what they eat. Arbor trees and thimble. So it'll probably just die. Because I don't have arbor trees except way, 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 way down here. So. But we could get pips uh, automatically planting a bunch of arbor trees naturally so that we don't have to fertilize them. And then we get a bunch of free stuff. Okay, so the mercury has refrozen. Um, let's make sure that doesn't happen again. I'm gonna get a wall going here. And then I wonder where the heat goes exactly. I'm not sure. We'll dig a little pit there where the mercury can kind of sit in. And then I'll need some uh, temp shift plates to hold heat. Utilities, temp shift plate. Um, not made out of ice, maybe just igneous rock. Something to equalize out the temperature of all this area. So when the rocket launches, things don't go quite as wild. Yeah, and then it's the gas in this area gets really hot because it's so thin, right? So it doesn't... A tiny bit of heat just spreads out. All right, we're gonna put pie apple skewers in here, 10 kilograms, should be fine. Get that supplied eventually. Ah, we'll just make it important. Yellow alert, we need food. Liquid CO2, haven't seen that one in a while. Interesting. Also, how's our star map looking? Any more discoveries? Not quite. Oh, 
All right. So now we might be okay. I think. To try another launch. Might wait until a couple of these temp shift plates get built, though. Don't eat the food from in there. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? <sighs> Access needs to be restricted, apparently. Because... And Bulby's going to the bathroom in here? Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even... Can't even... Um... Rocket control station. Wait, what? Oh, interior. There we go. There we go. Buildings with their access restricted cannot be operated while grounded, though they can still be filled. Okay, that's what we want. Okay. That's what we want. This is pretty hot right here, huh? Are you just gonna die, Edison? Really? Like that? That's how, that's how you're gonna go? Edison, go do something else. I guess the higher priority ones are the ones that move the, the heat away first. to this area. Oh my god, what if all of this mercury melts? That would be fun to watch. stand where you're standing. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna try another launch now. Change through to one. Sweet corn. You need to not stand there. There we go. That'll get some of the temperature out of here. Now the temp is flowing into this ice, which will eventually melt. <laughs> but we've got a lot of ice to work with over here. So, not the worst thing. What I might even do is try to make some sort of, like, capture for all this water. So that when the ice melts, it starts to fill this area up. And we have cold water that we can use as a heat sink. Okay. Luan, are you in here? Destination set. Oh, crew is boarded. Okay. Begin launch sequence. Here we go. Okay, so it's making a huge amount of hot, very hot carbon dioxide, like 1200 degree carbon dioxide. Overheat temperatures 2050 for the platform, but yeah, that's, that's why things get pretty toasty here. Makes sense. Okay, so back to the star map. Blazer module will have Luan in it. Why 
Why are you holding your breath? Weird. Yeah, there's oxygen here. Huh. Yep, I figured that would happen. I need Atmos suits out here. This is just unacceptable. Um, which is going to take a minute. Here, let's lock this before anybody does anything else. And then, all right, we got to deconstruct all this. Deconstruct. I got to make Atmos suits. Because, yeah, that scalding is just going to keep happening. Oh, sweet. I can make another... I've already got one, so we'll have two Atmos suits out here. Okay, so I realized I had to unequip their suit. Their oxygen mask was out of oxygen. So even if they're standing in an oxygenated area, the mask they were wearing... So basically, I don't want the pilot to wear a mask, which is weird. But I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's what was causing issues. So we are 0.3 cycles away. Doing the one. So you're wishing there was a place to sleep? What do you? Oh, are we there? We're not there. Um. I don't know what's going on now. I guess it's still. It's moving. Okay. So. Now you're doing it. And we made it! Rocket in orbit. Hooray. So now I can deploy the Trailblazer module. It's funny because I've already been here. But now I can deploy somewhere, grab something, and maybe bring it back. That's my hope, anyway. Wait, now what am I clicking? Wait, why do I... what? Okay, click this. Oh, it's already deployed. Yeah, this game really just doesn't hold your hand, and you're ne right next to Slime Long. Please tell me germs are dead when they're in space. Um... So now Luan is just here without uh, anything. Um, oh, this doesn't go back? What the heck? Everything is so manual in this game. Like, I assumed this could go back up to the rocket. Well, Luan, you're gonna die. Uh, I got bad news for you. Bad news for you, kid. Um, maybe you can dig. <laughs> you don't have the hard digging skill. That we can give you. Um... But, yeah, no oxygen is pretty rough. Apparently you're able to breathe the polluted oxygen that this is outputting. That's funny. I'll take it. I'll take it! Um, okay, so you just need to keep digging down until you get to sedimentary rock here. And then you can build a ladder out of sedimentary rock. I don't 
don't know what you can do, Luan. There's no, there's no oxygen. You're screwed. You're screwed. You can get over to here. No, there's no way. Because there's some oxalite in there. Oh, well, this was a failed... Our first failed rocket and our first dead dupe. I am sorry, Luan. I thought you could get back in the lander. That's really... Uh, they, like... I like games when you don't have to go to a Wikipedia to play the game. And this rocket process does not feel like that. Um... Like... Is there a guide somewhere? Tutorials... None of these are for rockets. Space travel. Okay, here we go. This is the, all they give you? Three paragraphs? Are you kidding me? Wow. They really give you nothing. Honestly, that's, that's frustrating to me. Like, they don't tell you anything. They don't even tell you what a lander module is. A trailblazer module. Ensure, enables travel to planetoids. Can hold one duplicate traveler. They don't have a big warning. Warning! Trailblazer module cannot travel back to the rocket. And that feels like a pretty important thing to mention. Ugh. Well. So, what I'm a little lost on is, like, how do you... Man, I'm just, I'm just lost on a lot of things. Because this is not big enough for all the stuff you need. <sighs> Luan, I am sorry. I am very, very sorry. But alas, you have not made it. Oops. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm just frustrated because there's no, there's no guides for any of this in-game. There's no, like, hey, make sure to bring a toilet, make sure to bring oxygen, and even, like, what form, like, how would you do this? I guess the way to do it would be to have a, an Atmo suit rather than an oxygen mask, because that'll last longer, but will that last long enough? I don't even know. And then once the dupe gets where they're going, like you need way more space than this. Can you deconstruct these? No. You can't even de you can't make these bigger. So it's like you need room for an extra Atmo suit in here. Hmm. I I'm not impressed with how difficult this is. I thought it was supposed to be easier with the Spaced Out DLC. And it feels like none of the... I mean, it's technically easier than the old version to get the rocket going. But to, to be able to have it so a dupe doesn't just die when they land feels overly complicated. And how are they supposed to get back to the rocket to get home? I'm very confused. Am I just, like, missing a whole bunch of space things here? Stores the excess power generated by the rocket engine. Okay, well, there's that. That still doesn't do much for me. Um, durable life support. I guess I needed to do that. Spacefarer module. Holds up to 10 duplicate travelers. I assume that's bigger than the command module. Huh. So I guess durable life support is what we wanted to do.
Maybe. I'm still confused though. How do you get dupes to and from the rocket? So you need to build a landing platform, a rocket platform on on the the on the ah, on the surface but how do you do that without having the 800 refined metal like i there's something here that i'm either not getting or it actually is just that difficult and finicky it's like okay well how do i get the 800 refined metal delivers cargo to the surface so you need an orbital cargo module and then you need to build a storage so you can store 800 kilograms of refined metal just so you can build the rocket platform just so you can land the rocket and then you also need to make sure you bring enough oxalite oxidizer and uh, sucrose or whatever and I don't think that would all fit in here so I do I do think there's some stuff going on here I don't quite understand Interesting. Well, you live and learn, you die and learn. I'm sorry, Lodro or Luan, you didn't make it. Your cold frozen corpse will, uh, yes. Anyway, <laughs> well, I, I'm going to have to call it an episode there. This has been a very long one, but we did our first rocket launch, which was exciting. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next episode.